Hello everyone, today let's have Google Classroom tutorial for students. So our objectives are, first, how to log into Google Classroom for the first time. So I am going to teach you kung papaano mag-log in sa Google Classroom for the first time. Second, where to find classes and assignments in Google Classroom. So, sa Google Classroom ay makikita mo ang mga iba't ibang klase na sinasalihan ng inyong learners and uh, assignments. So, where to find it, tuturuan ko rin kayo. And pangatlong objective natin is how to submit different types of assignments in Google Classroom. So, sa Google Classroom may assignment na kinakailangan na mag-attach kayo ng picture, na kinakailangan na mag-attach kayo ng documents. So, kung paano yun i-submit para hindi kayo mag-submit ng blank at uh, yun ay magre-resulta sa walang grado, tuturuan ko kayo para hindi yun ma... Uh, it won't happen na mag-submit kayo na walang uh, na blanko. Okay? So, ready na ba kayo? Punta na tayo sa ating Google Classroom. So, nang gawin, i-type lang natin sa address bar, classroom. Okay, classroom.google.com Then, click enter using your keyboard. Okay, clean nyo lang yung English. Kung gusto nyo yung English yung instruction, ay bibigay dito. So, email or, oh, kasi wala pa tayo. This is our first time. So, create an account tayo. Click create an account. Select for myself. And, isusulat nyo dito yung pangalan niyo So, name ng bata or yung learner. For example, Therese. And, last name is Nir. So, magsasuggest ng... Um, username si Google later on. Okay? So, let's just wait. Magsasuggest siya. So, punta mo na tayo dito. So, nag-think pa yung Google kung ano yung ibibigay niyang username. So, password mo na tayo. Wait. Kapag hindi mag-suggest, sulat niyo lang yan dyan. Gusto mo uh, username. Then, pagkatapos ay password. So, sinasabi dito, eight, minimum, minimum of 8 characters. So, yung characters, nag-refer yun sa letters, numbers, and symbols. Symbols like question mark, tandang padamdam, hashtag, dollar sign, Okay, so, 8 or more characters. Kung gusto ninyong makita, click nyo lang itong mata. Okay, so, yung letters should be mixed. So, my capital, my small letters. 1, 2, 3, hashtag. So, for example, that is my password. Highlight nyo lang. Copy. Kung paano ko yung ginagawa, highlight. Click the mouse. Or, you may do... Um, yeah, highlight then control C using your keyboard, control V again using your keyboard, but this time in the confirm box na, then click next. Okay, so itong Therese is hindi gusto ni Google, so available itong nandito, so just select one, then bago kayo mag next then optional yung, lang itong phone number at saka email address so you may choose not to fill in those then yung birthday ninyo sulat nyo lang dito pwede rin namang hindi nyo sabihin talaga yung birthday ninyo dito ok so by the way 13 years old yung pinapayaga ni Google na mag-manage ng kanyang sariling Google account kasi they follow the COPA or the Child Protection Policy. So, nasa discard niyo na yan kapag below 13 years old kayo. 
okay select then click next then read the terms privacy and terms here you want to read more then click I agree if you are done reading those terms and we are here now in our classroom so wala pa tayong classy because this is our first time so just click continue okay back to classes wala pa tayong class so click nyo lang itong plus sign click select join class si teacher ay magbibigay yan ng class code para maisali kayo sa ikanyang klase so itype nyo lang yan dito at tsaka, pagkatapos mo matype, just click join. And, just wait. And, mapupunta na tayo dito sa class ni teacher, ni Ma'am Asenho. So, dito sa stream tab, makikita natin dito lahat ng mga announcement ni Ma'am. So, if this is your first time, so, my instruction, for example, si teacher, please join this class by clicking the link below. So, i-click nyo lang yan. So, dito si teacher mag-discuss. Okay? I-click nyo lang itong ask to join. And, make sure na kamute ito. Kapag gusto ninyong mag-salita, uh, i-unmute na lang ito. Okay? I-unmute nyo lang para marinig kayo ni teacher. So, asking to join kasi kailangan pa kayong i-admit ni teacher. Okay? Kapag i-admit na kayo, automatic na kayong mapunta sa kanyang um, I mean, meeting. Okay? So, balik tayo. Kapag mayroong attendance na i-click nyo lang and mag-fill up lang kayo ng attendance din. Okay? Then, sa mga assignment okay, punta lang kayo dito sa classwork, nandito lahat ng assignment, so kung makikita ninyo lahat ng assignment ay naka kapag kasi nagtapos nyo nang nagawa yung assignment mag appear na siya as gray I mean, parang uh, hindi na siya masyadong klaro no? medyo hanap na siya okay, then kung gusto ninyo um, na, mas clear yung view nyo sa inyong dapat gagawin, mga gawain punta lang kayo dito sa to do again, click nyo lang ito, click to do and nandito sa to do tab, lahat ng mga assignment na dapat ninyong gagawin, okay so, by the way um, ano yung unang objective how to sign in uh, Google Classroom for the first time. Tapos na tayo. Then, pangalawa is where to find your class and your assignment uh, in Google Classroom. Tapos na tayo. Ngayon, punta na tayo sa pangatlong objective yung how to submit different types of assignment para hindi tayo ma-zero. Okay? So, para mag-submit talaga tayo ng hindi blanco. So, Punta tayo nito. For example, this is our assignment. So, do not click this sign 7 kasi mapunta kayo sa dashboard. So, balik kayo. To do. You click the title of the assignment. And, dito, click nyo lang itong attachment na ibinigay ni teacher. Kasi sinabi sa instruction, please answer. Please do not forget to read the instruction. Sinabi dito, please answer. Kaya i-click natin ito kasi sinasabi ni teacher na answeran to. So, communicating the result. Click submit. If you are done, just click X. Then, mark as done. It means, tapos nyo na yung nagawa na assignment na yan. Balik ulit tayo sa to do. Next assignment, itong scientific investigation. The instruction is, attach a picture of yourself doing investigation. So, kayo yung mag-attach ng picture. 
For example, may question ka. Uh, ilang pictures, for example. Ilang pictures. So, ito ay mapupuntas as private comment. So, si teacher lang yung makabasa uh, nito, no? So, just click send. Uh, be polite, okay? Ilang pictures po, teacher. Be polite to your teacher, of course. So, attach a picture. So, how will you do it? So, for example, you are going to picture yourself. After that, you upload or you send to your own uh, in your messenger. Then, after that, you download again using the PC na, your desktop. Then, save to your desktop. Then, just add here. Select file. Then, select upload. Diba, nag-save kayo ng pictures sa desktop ninyo? Click nyo lang. Desktop na siya, diba? Open. Then, mag-upload siya. Pagkatapos, i-turn in nyo lang. Turn in lang yan. And, tapos na kayo sa assignment na yan. Punta na kayo sa next assignment. So, itong hypothesis. Okay. So, itong hypothesis, may attachment si teacher, Google Docs. I-click nyo lang. So, dito, it's a Google Docs. So, i-type nyo lang yung an answer nyo dito. So, it is a wise guess. So, pagkatapos nyo na na type yung answer nyo, click X lang dito sa itaas and click turn in okay, kung sakali after na turn in ninyo, naisipan ninyo may answer pa pala kayong i-add i-click nyo lang itong unsubmit then click ulit yung google docs nakita ninyo nandun pa rin yung answer nyo kanina so you may add it is also a testable statement. Okay. It is also a, test a testable statement. If you are done, just click again X. Dito sa itaas, yung X. I hope nakita ninyo. X. Pagkatapos ay turn in lang. So, wag mag-worry na hindi na-save, na-save yan. Yan dito sa Google Docs. And even sa Google Drive, automatic mag-save lahat-lahat na tinatype mo. Auto-save siya. Okay? Tapos na tayo dyan. Punta na tayo sa next type of assignment. Ito. So, for example, ito. Type of assignment. It's a book widget. So, click nyo lang yung assignment mismo. Sa book widget, hindi na kayo kailangang gumawa pa ng account kasi nakalink na yung account niyo sa Google Classroom sa book widget. So, select nyo lang yung account niyo sa Google Classroom. Then, click allow. Para hindi kayo magka-problema later on. Sabihin, by authorization error. Click again, register account and sign in. And, pupunta kayo dito. Okay, if you are done answering, by the way, just drag on your, okay. Kapag mayroong submit button dito sa ibaba, click nyo. Kapag wala, hahanap kayo ng parang sobre kasi yan ay symbol ng submit. Then, click send. Okay, sending na siya. Sinabi, was sent successfully. Okay, then balik kayo doon, mark as done. That means, tapos na kayo nag-submit. Okay. So, yan yung uh, different types of assignment. Mga book widgets din ito. Okay. Don't you worry, book widgets din ito. So, I hope you learned something about our Google Classroom tutorial. And congratulations, you are now ready to uh, go to your online class. Okay. Good luck.